Good morning, welcome to morning prayer on this first day of March and to our parish of Abbeydale and Millhouses. And um, if you're wondering whose day it is today, um, we have a clue. We celebrate Saint David, the Bishop, patron saint of Wales. David or Dewey was a monk and a bishop in the sixth century and was uh, reputed to be an exemplar of the ascetic spiritual life, but was highly regarded for his kindness and compassion to others, particularly the poor and the sick. He is believed to have founded the monastery of Manivia, which is now St. David's, and also at least another or so dozen monasteries. He is said to have based the rule for his monasteries on that of the Egyptian desert monks, with a strong emphasis on hard work, abstinence from alcohol, and refraining from unnecessary speech. He died in about the year 601 and has been regarded as the patron saint of Wales since at least the 12th century. That's David, who we celebrate today. Let's just pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offenses. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm that is set for this morning is Psalm 32. Psalm 32. Be glad, you're righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Happy the one whose transgression is forgiven and whose sin is covered. Happy the one to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, and in whose spirit there is no guile. For I held my tongue, my bones wasted away through my groaning all the day long. Your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up like the drought in summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and my iniquity I did not hide. I said, 
I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you'll forgive the guilt of my sin. Therefore let all the faithful make their prayers to you in time of trouble. In the great water flood it shall not reach them. You are a place for me to hide in. You preserve me from the trouble. You surround me with the songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Be not like horse and mule, which have no understanding, whose mouths must be held with bits and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great tribulations remain for the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy all who are true of heart. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from Jeremiah, chapter 7. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Add your burnt offerings to your sacrifices, and eat the flesh. For on the day that I brought your ancestors out of the land of Egypt, I did not speak to them or command them concerning burnt, offers, burnt offerings and sacrifices. But this command I gave them, obey my voice and I will be your God and you shall be my people and walk only in the way that I command you so that it may be well with you. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but in their stubbornness of their evil, they walked in their own counsels and looked backwards rather than forwards. From the day that your ancestors came out of the land of Egypt until this day, I have persistently sent all my servants, the prophets, to them, day after day. Yet they did not listen to me or pay attention, but they stiffened their necks. They did worse than their ancestors did. So you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. You shall call to them but they will not answer you. You shall say to them, this is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God and did not accept discipline. Truth has perished. It is cut off from their lips. Cut off your hair and throw it away. Raise a lamentation on the bare heights for the Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation that provoked his wrath. For the people of Judah have done evil in my sight, says the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house that is called by my name, defiling it. And they go on building the high place of Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come into my mind. Therefore the days are surely coming, says the Lord, when it will no more be called Tophet, or the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. For they will bury in Tophet until there is no more room. The corpses of this people will be food for the birds of the air and for the animals of the earth, and no one will frighten them away. And I will bring to an end the sound of mirth and gladness, the voice of the bride and bridegroom in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, for the land shall become a waste. Here ends the first reading. The Song of Manasseh. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God, the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. 
you are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O oh God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. And worthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Full of compassion, and mercy, and love, is God the Most High, the Almighty. Our second reading is taken from John's Gospel, chapter 6. Then the Jews began to complain about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, do not complain among yourselves. No one can come to me unless drawn by the father who sent me and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Here ends the second reading. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Benedictus. I will give you shepherds after my own heart who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding.
Let us pray. God has promised to listen to those who pray in faith. Let us trust in God to accept, hear and deepen as we pray for the church, the world and ourselves. At the beginning of this new day, beginning of a new week, the beginning of a new month, we pray for all that these days that lie in front of us will hold for us. We pray for our journey through these days. We pray for those lives that we will touch whose lives will touch ours. We pray for conversations that we may have, meetings we may attend. We pray for decisions that we will make, both difficult and easy. And we pray for all that we think we need to do in these days ahead. But in these waking hours, we're mindful this is our journey through Lent as well. So we pray for this Lenten time. So it will be a chance for us to reflect, to pray, to learn, Lord, in the busyness of this world, the busyness of our lives, may we find a stillness in our days to be drawn closer to you, knowing that you are with us and you walk alongside us. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. And we pray for our world. For those who are in authority. We pray that they will recognize the responsibilities of that authority, that they will risk, resist the temptations, perhaps, of earthly power. Their focus will be for the good of those in their care. And for those nations where there is unrest, for those nations where there is violence on the streets, we pray for peace. A peace that is just and fair. That people will be able to live without fear. And that those who carry violence in their hearts may see that there are wiser ways than that of armed aggression. For all those who have been driven from their homes by the violence in their nations, we pray that they will find a safe haven for themselves, for the families, and that other nations will respect all those who are misplaced at this time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who we know who are unwell this day. We 
we bring before you healing, Lord. Those who we especially carry in our own hearts. For family. Or friends. Those of our parish congregations. Lord, as we name the silence of our hearts, we pray for your healing touch to reach out to them. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Remember those who have died, for those whose anniversaries are at this time, for those who have just recently passed into your living care, we pray for families who grieve. Families who feel the pain of loss at this time. Lord, surround them with your love and give them your strength even in their darkest moments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your guidance, Lord, as we look towards the future and make plans as we seek the restrictions to be lifted. We pray for wisdom in the life of our churches in our parish. We pray for our church leaders as they make decisions about the parish centre, our church halls. When can they open again? We pray for your guidance as we plan our worship over these next weeks and months. Pray for your wisdom, Lord, as we approach Holy Week and Easter. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. So we pray for ourselves, our own families, our friends. Let's feel blessing on them in their day, whatever they may be, whatever they may be doing in their waking hours. As we hold them in our prayers, may we feel the closeness to those who we love and those who love us. As we pray in your name, Jesus Christ, our living Lord. Amen. Our colleagues for this day, almighty God who called your servant David to be a faithful and wise steward of your mysteries for the people of Wales. In your mercy grant that following his purity of life and zeal for the gospel of Christ, we may with him receive the crown of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive, and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. 
Indeed is not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. So as we go out into our day, let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. Amen. Amen.